Hello, welcome to session three of the Sigma training. I'm Kim Blake and this session is on dashboards. I'm just going to show you one slide on the PowerPoint with the agenda and then I'll move into the live database. So in this session, we're going to cover accessing the dashboards from the setup menu, how to edit and create dashboards, how to access the dashboard from the user menu, how to create your own personal or private dashboard, and then the relevant pages that are in the online user manual. So I'll go into Sigma and log in. And as we've done before, we're going to use the menu across the top of the page. And then I'm also going to use the menu on the right hand side. So accessing the dashboard, if I start from the setup menu, and then come down to facilities dashboard. So this will show all the dashboards that are in your database and who, uh, sorry, how many people have got access to them and how many pages are in those dashboards. Everybody has a private dashboard that they can have for themselves and then any of the others can be made public and then they can be shared with others. Each of the dashboards there you can see, you can edit, you can delete, you can copy a dashboard. You can set a dashboard as your default dashboard for when you log in or you can view that dashboard. So I'm going to start with this team demo dashboard and view dashboard. So we've created this on our database bespoke for us and you've got a dashboard name and then the other dashboards are available from here. For the team demo dashboard, there are five pages. So we can move between the different pages. And then we have a path. So everything has a path in Sigma and the path is telling us at what level these widgets are looking. And where we see this symbol here, the global settings, it means they're, all, they're looking at whatever we've got in the path up here. So I can change that path if I wanted to and move down and look at just say the southern sort of say south region and that data will change then and be relative to just the south or I can come back to team demo or clear the path and it takes me back to the upper level so I'm looking at a summary for team demo and at the moment I'm looking at the previous 12 months but you can see here you've got the choice of the different time bands that you can have a look at. Because these are all set at the global level, if I change this, it will change the data that we see. So the summary, so each one of these widgets we've created and we've added to, to this dashboard. So the summary is, as it says, it's a summary. Or as an example, we have a cost page. And then we have a consumption page. And then emissions. So these are just examples of the types of things that you can add and create in your dashboards. I can edit this dashboard and these are the types of widgets that you can add to a dashboard when you're creating a new one or editing an existing one. So this is drag and drop and they're dragged into the page and if you've got more than one page, if I go to page five, which is an example, I can just drop that chart in there and then you've got some settings here that you can use to decide on what that widget is going to have a look at. So the path, 
what type of thing it's going to look at, so alarms, data quality, invoice statistics, for example. So all of those parts can be created bespoke for each one of these widgets. I'll delete that from there. And then you have the configuration. So that's the overall configuration. So the look and feel of the dashboard. So the color, so you can see the various different colors that can be in there. The pages, adding new pages, your page names, etc. Then once you've done your changes, you can just save that. I'll just cancel from it. So that's editing an existing one that's already in the database. From here, we've got some options. We can log out, go to the help files, go back to home. So if I click on home, as I've said before, my home page is set to go to the tree configuration. Or you can change yours in the my account to whichever page you want to go back to. If I go back to the setup menu and down to facilities dashboard, you've also got the option there to add a dashboard. So you can start from new, you give it a name and a path and a category. Then once you've created it, you highlight it and then edit. So you can have as many as you like. The private one is, as it says, it's a private one, and then you can you can create your own private one. If I view the dashboard as I did before, that would then take me to look at that dashboard. So if you didn't want to use the facilities drop down here, if I come across to the right hand side to the user and to dashboard, it opens up my private dashboard, which I haven't done anything with yet. The other dashboards are here and I can change it to whichever dashboard I want to look at. So if I go back into edit again here, as I said, these are the types of widgets that are available and each one is configurable. I'll just cancel from there. So the relevant pages in the online manual, if I come down the menu, we have a dashboard section and then there's setting a default dashboard, dashboard navigation and then dashboard configuration. So dashboards are also in the express version that is in another session, but I'll talk to you about them later. So again, if I click back to home, it takes me back to my home page. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know.